Hola. Like to try to talk about crafting melodies again. I'm gonna take an E minor triad. E, G, B, octave. B is your flat seven. E minor seven. G string, 4th fret, E, 5th fret, B string, G on the 8th fret, B string, B on the 12th fret, so we have a B, which is your 5th, E, root, G, flat at 3rd, and B, 5th. The D and E is up here, flat at 7th D on the 10th fret, another G, another B. But this is really the, this B here. So we're in the E minor scale, which gives you E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D. sharp F sharp so let's get that E minor try a sound in our ear you can use the open E as a root you can add the flat at seven Those are all chord tones. Oh, hit the open G, which is, is your flat of third, actually. All right. So the idea is to really get those sounds, those notes in your ear. the rest of your scale. The F sharp as a passing tone. It's your second in this this scale. One, two, three. Has a nice half step resolve to the G. Causes some dissonance with the open E. Since there's no F sharp in the E minor, creates a little tension, then resolves to your third. G, A, B is your fourth. You can use it as a passing tone to the B or upper neighbor. Back to the G. So the idea is to use these other scale notes around your chord tones. Lower neighbor, F sharp back to G, passing tone. We also have a C, which is your minor sixth interval. A lot of people raise it to C sharp, giving you a major six interval from the E. One, two, three, four, five, minor six, major six, less dissonance. It's out of the Dorian, E Dorian, which would be D major scale. This is C sharp and D major. And E is your second scale degree. D to E, which gives you your Dorian mode. I prefer the C sharp, because it, it leads you to a flat of seven. But the C 
also has a nice tension, bringing you to the fifth. So, you want to land on a chord tone after these little scale runs. It's nice to have the open E on the bass, it implies the chord. triad right E minor is a third below your G triad EFG so it actually gives you E G B D a lot of combinations yeah It's good to have a little breaks so every once in a while. Fifth would be the B, B major, which has a D sharp, B, D sharp, F, A, G flat at seven. So that would be a one five E minor, which would be seven. So let's see, you can use this E to go down a half step to D sharp, which is your third. Same scale, except instead of the D, it's raised up a half step. D harm e harmonic minor gives you a B major instead of a B minor. Dominant seven. There's no open B, so you're gonna have to get the bass down here. So D sharp, F sharp, A. You can apply the same thing to B. So you got B, C, D sharp, E, F sharp, G, A, G flat at 7. Always land on the chord tone. Now, this gives you a half step from the B to C. There's a half step, which is really dissonant, flat at ninth. It's actually the notes in the theme Jaws. G in the bass first inversion. E minor. The 
this would be great to put on a looper. So the goal is to find connections from one chord E to D sharp and B, the A can resolve down to G, so it's interesting to play the root, the bass with the root on the top, third, you can add the seventh, Listen to other scale notes. Now the G can change chords on the F sharp, which is your fifth to B. So we have the E minor. That F sharp gives you the fifth. D sharp is right here on the 8th fret G string, E, G, D sharp. So the third, the root becomes the third, and the third of E minor becomes the fifth. Here's the flat at 7. to have a D sharp. There's your octave. You can add the fifth B to B minor on the ninth fret D string. Better to think of these little triads. You can connect them later on. E, uh, B, E, G, B. To D sharp. Make patterns so E, B, G, D sharp, B, F. So this is your E minor, G in the bass, and B, or F sharp in the bass. 